Hey there, friends and video game fans. Head got shanked here again and again. They've changed the uh, thing. Are they randomized now? Did they create a whole bunch and, and now they're random? I'm not sure. But this is the first time I've noticed this lovely site with these. Good grief. That is, that's the most graphic thing that I think I've seen in this game, and that's saying a lot. Okay, well... Let's go ahead and pick up where we left off, shall we? With Liberty and her quest to finish a conversation with this guy about uh, all, all the unfortunate things that happened. <clears throat> Misfortunate. Unfortunate? Yeah, if you want to be charitable, I guess, if that's the word. Okay, so I guess we're going to go to Phineas' safe house, which is called the Gorman House. Phineas led me to a fine-looking but neglected ranch. I told him I didn't like the look of the place, but he assured me it would be okay. I had no idea who you were, and I certainly didn't realize it was your family home. Instead of approaching from the front, we went from the back entrance to the kitchen. Despite... Despite his confidence, I decided to sneak up on the house from the hunting grounds. Uh, you know, I'm going to say I'm pretty distrustful of people, so I'm going to do that. Turns out I made the smart choice. From behind, between the trees, we spied a bunch of white folk in gray garb like uniforms. It was the home guard. In a panic, we turned around and tried to get out as quickly as possible. That's when Phineas sna stepped into a snare. It snapped into his thigh with a squishy sound. We managed to limp away before the Confederates could check out the commotion. That's when it finally dawned on me we had to steer clear of not just the law, but people in general. We weren't just runaways, we'd killed some white folk. Plus, we looked like a couple of goddamn revenants. Phineas looked like a beaten dog, but I knew what to do. I was furious. I swore I killed a son bitch that did this to me. Didn't Phineas tell you about me? About my intentions? Oh, he wrote out a whole pretty story. Too bad I can't read. Okay. Phineas. I, I have to look that up. That can't be right. It's Phineas, right? Why do they say Phineas? I guess maybe if he's Greek, then like, but I don't know. It's like, it's weird. Came across a swath of ground covered with buffalo tracks. Couldn't believe it. Mm, so we followed them. Tracks of large buffalo tracks going to a cave. Strange enough, but that many? Why not? Inside the cave, we found a giant statue made of green stone that glowed in the dark. It had two gems for eyes. And we you could hear a whistle. Or maybe that was the bats. Sure, that's my only choice. Um, boy, images flashed before my eyes and didn't know where I was. I saw a giant herd of buffalo being hunted by a gaggle of white folk, but they didn't kill the animals. They captured them and took them to masked fellas who collected their blood. Then I saw something else. People gunning down the hunters and doctors alike. And there we were, standing in front of that strange glowing figure. Oh. One seems like a bad idea, so, you know, I'm gonna see what happens here. Huh. Cool. So, uh, Phineas is looking like shit right now, isn't he? Holy moly, he's got all kinds of crap. Oof. Well, let's take a look at this here, uh, blood pendant, blood talisman, man, oh, nice, yeah, two hit points, that's good, okay, well, let's go to Mountain Pass, maybe we'll get into a fight, after we spied another home guard patrol, we decided to take the longer way around through Mountain Pass, it was slowly getting dark. I decided to set up camp in the forest and start again in the morning. 
We needed to press on. We could rest later. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, so there's a rock fall. Ah. Oh. Finally cut up to our soccer deep in the forest. At first we thought we were in the middle of what looked like a giant bear den, except there were no bear, no siree. Instead, there was a giant ape pounding around, looking like to kill us. I put a bullet between its eyes. Phineas removed the creature's massive head. Cool. We got a s Sasquatch teeth. <laughs> Among the human remains scattered in the den, I found pieces of another mask like them one the attackers had. I also found a letter. According to Phineas, it said some mean-ass gunslingers, John and Luke the Evangelist, were trying to track them down. I took a shine to those two right away. Oh, interesting. So we're going to have a tie-in with those characters that we uh, heard about before. In, um, that was the final chapter of Warren's story. Okay. Okay. So that's good. Now let's do some trading. Let's see. We've definitely got some new things here. What do the Sasquatch teeth? do. Terror. I do like that. Do I have the ether to pay for it? I got plenty of ether. Okay. I like beast hearing too. Improves offensive stats. Unfortunately, I can't afford both of these. I can buy ether though? Can I use gold? No, doesn't look like I don't have any gold. Oh, whoa. Well. Okay. Well. We'll just do that. Because I like this, the idea of having Sasquatch teeth. That sounds pretty cool. Um, card screen. Let's get these, let's get these babies in. Yeah. Okay. Aha, here's a store. Maybe we can do some trade here. Um, ooh, single wooded building. Okay, the store was run by a gentleman. Round glasses. If I took part in a little test of his, he'd give me a 20% discount. Okay. I think we've got time. He held for the single jelly bean in each hand. He said one was orange flavored and the other was blueberry. He said I should pick one. <laughs> what? Um. Oh crap. <laughs> Is this guy Morpheus? But it's not orange, it's red. Well, um. I mean, I like blueberry, so. I don't know what he put in them jelly beans, but the next thing I knew, I woke up and it was a quarter hour later. As you can imagine, I was a tad miffed, but the man kept his promise. Damn. Okay. What's this powerful amulet? Is it the Ojo del Muerto? No, I don't think so. Is it the Oxen Skull? What's this powerful amulet that you've got? Huh? I don't know. I don't really care. Uh. I do want to keep these recipes, because, um. That's pretty cool. Maybe I should try and shoot for some of these. Anyway, let's sell all of these impractical, improbable steampunk weapons. I hate the pepper box. I hate the Remy Borgen rifle. And uh, the 10 gauge. Oh, we got 
two of those as well. That's a lot of gold if he's got the cash to pay for it. Unfortunately, he cannot pay for all of it. So, I don't know. Maybe there's something else we'd like to trade for, like the rabbit foot. That's definitely worthwhile. Um, he doesn't have a talisman. So we could take this rabbit foot from him. And then I guess, uh, let's see, if we take this away. Nah. There. And you can keep one coin. And there we go. All right. the hell? Oh, talismans. There we go. The rabbit's foot. And mandrake root goes well with that that luck boost. Oh, except his luck is not very good. What do we have? Of course, he's got all these battle injuries. Good grief. He is going to be in rough shape when we get into a fight. Rough. But I think it's going to be worth it. Here's a place called the Hideaway. Now let's just see what's going on here. We were trudging through a rocky valley, trying to avoid Slaver Posse. Came to a small hut. We approached it slowly. Sun suddenly the doors flew open. A man jumped out and tackled me. Oh boy. I saw he was dressed like a cowboy, but he was wearing Confederate boots. We understood he was a deserter. He looked at us a minute while he caught his breath. Then he laughed grimly and said he figured... We was all running for the same reasons. Said we looked like we'd been cut on by those masked madmen. Told us he was done working for them. I told him we were on our way to pay them back for what they'd done. He said if we could spare a gun or some liquor, he'd be happy to tell us what he knew. Yeah, let's give him the shotgun since we have one to spare. He took it and exchange handed me a piece of paper. Said it was some, ooh, abomination, you say. That sounds like fun. So we have these, this is really interesting, the way they've done this. I mean, it's the, it's basically using the mechanics of the, the card system, but it really goes deeper than that. And it's super interesting. So let's see what we get, what we need to do to get, um... Okay, we're on our way there. Cannibal stomach, vampire's brain, sasquatch teeth, tattooed skin, and human blood. I know I can get tat um, sasquatch teeth and human blood already. So I've got to keep my eyes open and try and find these other parts. Cannibal stomach, vampire brain, and tattooed skin. Let me see what exactly we have right now heart tumor tumor where'd we get that <laughs> stinger and that one's liberty's eye that one's good for a different build I think that's homo superior or is that revenants that's homo superior bull's heart and liberty's eye Oh, uh, wow, we're on, we're, we're, we're on the road to starting to get that build, too. Why don't I go ahead and let's move these around just a bit. Let's give Phineas the bull's heart. And, well, no, actually, let's give him the Sasquatch teeth. So she's going to be on her way toward being the uh, Revenant Homo Superior. And he's going to be the Abomination. That'll be something pretty cool. Yeah. Alright. At least that's the hope. Hopefully I can get all those items. And hopefully we can get into a fight. Um, this has certainly been interesting, but I'm... 
hoping that there's going to be some combat soon. That'll, well, hopefully come next time. Thanks for watching. My name's been Head Got Shanked, and the game has been Hard West. And I hope you have a good night.